afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting Piranda Cast. From your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda, Hero Psych, Defender of the Fatherland. All theatre and exciting one versus one. On Hall Lot Newfoundland, between these, we got Tarn Nation fighting for King and Country, the Commonwealth. Rolling out here with the Garth Tarn Division versus the West, we got Dave. Fighting for the Wehrmacht to Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the second Panzer Division here with. Elite troops, mobile defense, Jaeger infantry, dumb machine gun, mortar bullets versus mobile assault, special weapons, vanguard with triple infantry there for Tarnation, double section start, and Canada MD42 here for Dave. With some pioneers as well here for him, of course. Third section out there for Tarnation, Dave here going center and south. Interesting enough, no need to attempt for the north, as we can see Tarnation is heading very aggressively north there with his sections. So we can see the MD42 pioneers being sent northwards, but the MD42. Continues on the southbound path. That is definitely not your usual capping order on Holotny Farmer West. Sam so McSound to help defend the car front. Good work there by Dave. Sectioning southward. Third section out there for Tarnation. The engaged second is might be able to see any time the punch might be able to finish it in time. That's gonna be a bit close. And there we go. They'll probably have to pull back the pioneers. Well, there's actually another option. We see basically by time of the pioneers there, and then he sneaks up the gun. This flanking the section inside the house here, and this looks like what Dave's going for. The question is, will Tarnation be able to spot it in time and react to this? And it looks like he did see it. He did see it, but of course, that means he pulls back towards the house, allowing Dave then to pull back with the pioneers, and now sort of head towards here. And same with the gun is to cover. So if he tries to push for there, he's going to run some issues. So he could just set the gun is down there. So very nice move there, but Dave's going to score. And then here we go in the south, and before to pushing back a section. Seeing here what Dave's planning over the info in the south is certainly. Very instructive. Again, it was risky in some ways, but uh, it was effective. It was very effective. Now we're going into a section here. Section all alone, health running to the Gunnadia. So first line of the Gunnadia, a few hits. There we go, getting a kill on the section. Fourth section, William, there for Tarnation. Very infantry heavy build here from Tarnation up north. Fuel put on, secured. Second, this squad moving could attack from the south to sort of deal with the section. The pressure from the center. M4 to the ground, the munitions. And we got a third Gunnadia squad there for Dave and Germany. Northern field secured there for the German army for the second Panzer Division section seems to bleed out here in the face of Dave's Grenadiers and we got the fourth section out. Question is will Tarnation go for a quick uh, bolster, grenades or tech here? That's the sort of big question. Not a lot of British players go for grenades but grenades are actually pretty potent. Dave shift the MD42 down here not thinking he's going to get away with the assault head on due to the possibility that Tarnation's waiting. He heads for the victory point in which case if opponent pulls through here he's going to be able to catch him again. And there you go, Canadian is having to shoot the centre victory point, the flanks behind the section here and forcing them away. Very good play here, but Davey in the early moments. Tenacious and fight, certainly find, feeling the pressure. There you go, feeling the pressure, not finding the pressure, but feeling the pressure of Dave's unrelenting manoeuvres. And the South the 4 This is a really aggressive 4 2 play, and so far it is twice paying off here against Tenacious. Catching two sections with the MD42 here, getting two kills with it while barely suffering any damage. Canadian squad number three moves in here as well. But while going up to make it harder for the nation to push in here towards the compartment, heading for the center instead, I think that's a good response there so far for the nation, though he needs to be careful, of course, defending his own fuel pump because otherwise Dave is going to dig in here with the Grenadiers and the MD42 sailing in aggressively. So nation here is going to think go for bolts at sections, try to sort of push for sort of harder numbers versus Dave. Grab the northern munitions there. Back here, we got the take almost done for Dave and Deutschland. MD4 sitting up here, can lose him for the calf point. They'll probably render it neutral, then fall back towards the MD42. There we go. Very much makes sense. Section could flank about here. Should probably go for deep flank. And we go platoon command post up as well there for Tarnation. Medics, section reinforcing all of that. And there you go, attack here. Flanking up behind. This is where grenades would help a bit versus the machine gun. And they're going to attack here from three directions. The problem is, of course, there's only one sort of really on the flank here. And that, of course, allows Dave to focus that section down. It's the before to keep everything else at bay. But no, it looks like it's slow turning around here. It's slowly turning around. Though it's going to be close here for Tenacious and Dave. And there you go. MD42 could be lost here. This would be a big loss for Dave in the only moments of the game. But no, it looks like he's going to escape here with MD42. Pretty close. Pretty risky, in fact. Could have retreated sooner. Probably should have. But in this case, he did get lucky enough. He has Tenacious. Dick cut off his fuel, so... Very strong, aggressive play there by Dave, putting Tarnation very much on the defensive. Gunnadies are finding out there. My God, Fritz Jones of wrong side is a cart. It's a piece of cover, not a talisman. You have to t be behind it for it to work, not just touch it, you idiot. Grab the southern munitions there. Back, fuel pumping secured. 
Big section push here for Tarnation and the men have seen better days. Good lord, when's our fifth member supposed to arrive? Well, once we've filled out the right forms and they come up all the way from England. But what about the rest? Oh, you know, just regulations. How does they make sense? Shut up, Terrence. Take up here with a 2-2 on the way for Dave. You also get Jaeger Infantry. Opting in for some more rapid firepower and they're going to lose in terms of G43s or sort of raw firepower I suppose. LMG42s could also be an option but the G43s does get more firepower on the move compared to the LMG. So that is not too bad. They might run into some issues if Tarnation suddenly goes heavy on the Brens but uh, that is so far not going to happen. Tagging in there, got the second flanging up here to support the, against the Pioneers as they try to hit for the cop. I've got the Enforce sitting up here. No grenades, we've got the Vickers moving in there for Tarnation. In the south point secure, we've got double gun this with G43 setting in. Back here, reinforcement also going on there. Nothing further going on there from his platoon command post. Dave 2 has arrived, and Tarnation is currently without any counters. Most likely, this is going to force responsive special weapons with the tank hunter interesting to deal with it. He could go for the six pounder gun. The ADC, though, is due to the resource weapon executed by Dave. Beautifully, by the way. Not really going to happen. I mean, even the AC being as successful as it is, it's still going to be some time off there. But he might still go for it. So it's going to be at least a minute where Dave can just sort of keep pushing hard until he can then sort of begin pushing for it. And considering how Dave is going straight for the fuel again, that could become more than a minute. There you go. Got the six pounder gun on the way for Tarnation, but it probably will assault an AC nonetheless. Head on attack here into the two to two. And the G43's casualties immediately begin piling up here for the section members as their men drop like flies. Fat British flies. And you go heading for the fuel point, having cut off the fuel already. Dave's having a very good sort of sense of sequencing now and harassment. Very good work. Back here, Pioneer's good to go. Medic bunker almost up there for Dave. He's got the bunker part, he just needs to get the medic inside of it. Big shootout here, but the problem is it's not favorable for Tarnation as Dave just oh, cuts off and then just falls back here and then makes it harder for Tarnation to get it back. Very good tactical sense there by him. Armored Kai soon available. Scout the fuel, he just needs some manpower now. Dave can go for the Jaeger command squad he wants to. 2 to 2 flanking in, the Lauren Health Vickers moving in. Six pounding on the move as well. He should probably try and send some troops northward. So it's a sort of slightly harassing sort of deal of stuff there. Probably should have waited for the six pounder gun to arrive before opening up with the Vickers instead. The six pounder gun would actually have a chance of taking out the two to two, which is rather what you want. I'm just gonna slightly ding it out there. And there you go, rifle grenade off. Very good work there by Dave. Doesn't do too much to send in heavy cover. But of course, if he's sort of fallen back, and I think he was actually trying to bait him into falling back, thus exposing him to more fire. But his men are taking heavy damage here from the G43 willing Gunners troops reinforcing, not healing up north. Harassment there is going to be countered by the Gunners. Tarnation's having a really rough start. We can see the Dave also making use of the sprint ability. Very good work. Because just needs to get the devil out of there. And finally, Tarnation's there going for the AC Mark III. To the two neat repairs, we got Dave here following up with Panzer Gunner. No Jaeger command squads for him. At least not yet. But you would have figured he'd have gone for it. Troops reinforcing healing. And Norfolk's there. Supplies looking a bit squiffy. Line's been cut. Gonna do this under fire. Troops healing reinforcing AC almost done. Shots fired there. Section closing the veteran to two. Dave's machine gun has gone for being a very aggressive, very mobile thing, it's now being just sort of static element here. Not tell you how I feel about that, but of course, I mean, there might be some bigger plan there from Dave, and it's certainly not a bad spot to position in. Panzer gonna be out there for Dave, and the second Panzer is shown. Men who have seen much action across Europe. And there we go, the AC Mark III, mobile and ready. That's gonna be a bit of a problem there for Dave, though. Oh, no. He doesn't have sappers, he doesn't have minesweepers. Uh, that's gonna be such a big loss for Tarnation. That's gonna be such a big loss. 
looks like his uh, spider sensor is tingling, forcing, considering him to call back his AEC there. That was definitely the right choice. He doesn't probably know why, but uh, that was very much the right decision that he chose wisely. There's a chance he could exit the Teleman by accident with the AC, which of course would reveal and of course tell Tarnage he needs to get bloody mines out. Mines Reapers, but no, it doesn't have any cell though. The sections and the AC, they beat the Gunnadiers quite handily, causing heavy losses there for Dave, forcing a full two Gunnadiers squad retreat. But uh, Tarnation really should get Sappers just to help repair the armor. Khan, of course, get Mines Reapers out. Dave on the defensive here, I think he's stalling out for tech and armor. We got a pack 40 in the way that's up to deal with the AC. So Nation is playing with fire. It's a pretty common mind spot as well. Weapon racks on the way there. Still no mind sweepers for Tanation. Six pulling on any good hit in the 2 2. If we get it knocked out, that would be pretty helpful. But gets away. Oh! No, gets away, gets away. AC just hanging about this. Sandbags dug in there. Tarnation now swinging back in Macquatool here versus Dave. Very good play there, but the lack of minesweepers I find deeply concerning. And down it goes. That was inevitable. And now it gets the sappers. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I would have been here you to, you know, fix mines, but your armored car hadn't blown up yet. Last time we didn't know there were mines. Well, wouldn't have been better to get them preemptively. Sorry, British Army regulations. We can't get minesweepers until at least one car gets blown up. Ah, damn regulations. So it's enforcing sappers out, and he will likely be getting minesweepers then. I mean, usually a good player gets minesweepers ahead, if possible, if they suspect it. Dave that hasn't gone for mind people, so he's clearly not suspecting from Tarnation. He actually probably should. But we got a motor on the way there for Dave. Second firing it out there. And two to two rolling in. Veterans won three kills there with Craction and Auto Cannon. Section that probably needs to retreat soon to be honest. In the center they repulsed. And nothing further going on. We got a big push into the north with double sections with Bren guns. At least one of them has been double Bren, the other one is only single Bren, but that's still pretty good. And there you go, Punch going to use the double spread section. There's not going to be a good engagement there, he just retreats, realizing he is deeply outgunned there. In the south here, Gunning this will make good certain advances for the fatherland here. Second Panzer is shown, forcing Tarnation to retract his lines, leaving the munitions that from Victory Point exposed just to defend the field up north. They're pushing ahead, he grabbing Victory Point's other points, Sandbags being dug in. And nothing further going in for Tarnation. Still no choice of Doctor versus Dave, who still hasn't gone for the command squad. And he can actually soon go for the support on McCall. He's got the resources, he's got the tech, he just needs the will. New Multisaps assaulting it though. Moving up just to lay down the <laughs> demo charge while under fire, right under those of the Germans. Hey Fritz, yeah, maybe maybe you should value I don't very say British use firecrackers for theirs. It's the only good clearing out, you know, bat by and such. See, so won't harm us. Damn, the south was there to go. One light machine gun out for Dave. So two G for three teams. One light machine gun team. We got the Vickers opening up. Then they're gonna do. And back here we got take up four ton nation. In fact, faster than Dave, though comparatively, Dave is more likely to get out something faster in terms of tanks. There you go, six pounder gun hit on the 222. Easy hit. But I'd like to be able to finish off the job. We do get a brand flank here on the gun. is quickly shredding Jurgen. And Otto might soon be to follow here. There we go. Just reinforcing. Southwards, we can see that he might try and sneak up here and hit the fuel pond that way. Very good move there if Dave does decide for it. So Palmer Cross still not happening. Jaeger Command Squad still not happening either for Dave. I mean, it's not in terms of, you know, raw numbers he's lacking. I mean, he's got three gun leaders, one panzer gun squad. That's a solid number of infantry squads. But the Jaeger command one would be helpful. There we go, hitting the fuel ponding in. And Tenacious going to have to rush back in those troops while he's across the center here with the others. Norfolk, so he could put a bit of pressure there on uh, Dave if he wants to. And there goes the Pomacrop. I was starting to wonder he was going to go for a heavy panzer corps instead of NTF4. But... Uh, 
Davis uh, not heading there. He's not. Rings Norris is trying to pretend to be. And so we got the safety sector in for the gun. Did you see it? A few grenades would be helpful in you know, flushing out the Germans, but uh, nonetheless, raw numbers and raw firepower does the trick. Could the two need to repair Sapoma Co-op? He can actually go for a pentacle pretty soon. He can also prepare with Stoogs and the likes, but he's probably feeling confident in his situation. We'll just go for the Panzer IV. I and mean, it's not like he has to worry about an AC because Tony you know, went for the Minesweepers in time. Dave remains, Minesweeper less, but uh, he doesn't quite have as much to worry about. There's no British tanks to immediately blow up with mine, and he's not really encountering any other mines, so Dave seems rather content not to get Minesweepers. So Nation going for a second separate team. Still no doctrine for him either. No sign of anything. No tank under sections, no commandos, no crocodiles, no land mattresses, no nothing. Bit of shooter there. Dug in here by the munitions. And we got a smoke in there forcing out the Vickers. Very good move there by Dave. Back into our nation's base. It's going to be some time before we get out any tanks. And David's only got the pencil already. We got the Cabalta Latin going off, flashing out the section into the open. Got the pencil pushing it into the section with the bench. We got Sapper charging with the Sten guns blazing as the Panzers take out with their assault rifles. Ultimately, they're overwhelmed here by the raw numbers. Again, once more displayed by Tonation. The South section of the Gunadiers. And we got one Bren versus one light machine gun. Of course, they're five man, virtually two versus four man, virtually two. And there we go another section put from moon here, but they're kind of covered by the other kind of Bren section here. And this is the double section causing heavy damage to the gun. He's got the two to two moving in. Rough and eight off here. That should turn the tide around here. That does some damage. It is not enough, but still should turn the tide in favor of the gun. Do you see? And the two to two should be able to flush away the section there as Time Nation's got no immediate response available in the fight against the two to two. And the tank and shoot tries to hit through the head rows there, but Mother Nature in this case to proves to be too much of an obstacle for the British Army. Up north, Pantherville, they easily overwhelms the sapper section, causing numerous casualties. Now you'll probably have to go for Cromwell. He could try setting up for a Firefly. He might also want to consider going for a second six pounder gun to boost his anti tank weapon here versus those dastardly Huns. Those wily Wilhelms. Enemy enforcement here, brand guns being handed out in ever larger quantities. And we got a fuel cache up here as well to support further operations down the road. Could certainly further indicate he might be planning uh, something bigger here. And long term, of course, this is going to give him a slight edge here over Dave. We can maintain all this recent map. Uh, so there we go, we got the two two gunners again hitting the fuel pump. I mean, he's really good at hitting the fuel pump and even harassing it, but his uh, tenacious is uh, strongly there and doing the same to Dave. He's going to have to rush down some more support here for the fuel point as Dave is not stopping. He is not halting even remotely. Panzer, they're pulling in. Sections happening to retreat. Needs to get the Vickers up. They need to get this other section in. And there you go. Hitting the fuel here. Up north, you got the Panther 4 waiting, ready to blast apart any Britishman. Englishman. And there you go. Panzer, they're doing what they can. They've got a suppressed section rushing forward to their Bren guns in hand, though they can't quite find them in the move. Crom on the way there for Tenation, pulling in his own tank. And Mortify, they're hammering away. Getting in some damage and a single kill so far. Flown Earth is up for the Punier. And a storm of Ren Gunner fire. It's pretty courageous day to say about here since, I mean, the Pioneers, even in heavy cover, are not favoured in this engagement. Most of what he's all he's doing is just giving the mortar more time to fire at, and even that's going to be, you know, uh, short lived. And there you go, Cromwell right here for Tarnation and the Guards Armoured Division. Cromwell Mark IV Cruiser Tank. Section reinforcing healing, we'll have to see what Tarnation ends up with next here versus Dave. The lack of doctrine though is definitely something he should be rectifying faster than this I would say. Sapper section is going to do this using ambush camouflage, very good, very good. The Germans were 
foreign users of camouflage which the weapon is at numerous patterns whereas the army the regular one had to make do with the sense barn largely Occasionally they get their hands on some Muffin those patterns or Luftwaffe patterns we also used. Panforting hits from the 6 pounder gun and the Cromwell forcing down to half health. In the south we get a big infantry push once more from Dave. Basically constantly using this route to just hit the fuel pump, putting pressure onto a nation and forcing him to defend the south. There's some really good moves there by Dave. Really good moves. We also I think there's more ambush camouflage at least for some of the grenadiers and the Panzer grenadiers. Very good uses there of the munitions. It's a pretty cheap upgrade that can have some good impact. Can also make it half a second use. Oh, he's actually gone up for a heavy panzer core now. Might seem some panthers here versus Tarnation. Or oh, Sturm Panzer, I guess. We'll see what ends up with here for Dave. No panzer fast here. And the crumble falls back successfully. Panzer gonna be gaining between two repulsing a section out in the open and they took no charge against well aimed, disciplined assault rifle fire. And a bit of healing there before heading towards the southern point there. Gonna be using a fire from the crowbar. Savage moving in support. Tonight's getting closer to something, but Dave is also getting closer to something uh, possibly big. And there you go, Gunners Repulse, Sappers there pushing forward, and cover the Cromwell tank, successfully grab the southern munitions up north, moving to him, got a smotion down the centre, Dave's going to make the move, I think, there we go, Gunners. Los, 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 while the smoke still lasts, as the vice the Tommies will see us, and they'll fire everything at us. Because while the Tommies lack fun manpower, they make up fun firepower, usually. Panzer Vars, they're damaging near the Cromwell. Back here, reinforcement, healing, good to go. But up north, the 2 2 continues to be a threat here to Tarnation. As it roams about and gives uh, him a uh, reasonable headache. The Panzer IV certainly not helping on the situation either, there. With its 75mm gun and its uh, numerous machine guns. Cromwell fixed up. Six pounder gun creeping ahead. Cromwell through the south. And we got Panzer Gunner here. Ah, uh, the Gunner were a bit slower than getting the ambush camouflage up. Nine Jurg in your pink pajamas don't cover as camouflage. And there you go, Gunner versus Cromwell. Panzer Force supporting. Panzer there peering out there as soon as the Cromwell turns away there and the infantry expose himself here. Very good move by Dave's successfully pushing back the sappers. But the problem is here, Tarnation's got too much firepower contract here and Dave just doesn't have the concentration here to sort of deal with it. Though he's certainly trying here, he's certainly trying to defend for as long as possible. There's a chance of losing the Panzer Gun which I think would be quite a loss for Dave. And Tarnation seems to reflect resources here. Could be a Firefly and no, he's going for another Crom in the meanwhile. Dave here could go for the Panther, he could go for the Sturm Panzer, he does go for the Panther, the Panzer Kampf Bargain Fünf. That's him going to force Tarnation, I think, to consider a second six pounder gun. Or he's going to have to pull off some really good flanks if that's the Panther. But so far, Tarnation's armor usage is not what it would call particularly inspired, and so might find himself starting just a bit. We'll see, we'll see. It might, of course, be he finds some new reserves once he encounters the Panther. Oh, another Telemine! Ah! Oh. The terror mines are proving to be quite effective here for Dave. That's pretty much the second uh, kill or more or less. Oh, that is some pretty good luck there for the nation so far, but uh, it's got to run out at some point. Yeah, there we go. It went down. It was inevitable. Still, those terror mines have had quite an impact here for Dave, and that is quite unpleasant there for the nation. So anyway, you need to be careful about the roads, and particularly once your opponents already laid down one terror mine. And you lost an AC to it. It's a good work there by Dave Mining and making it hard here for the nation to move out. We got the Tutusu Mortang about here. Panther heading south, let's pin that machine on the way. 
smoke string down again and he's actually going for a second malt here adding further chilling of course further smoke and he's just saying let's crumble down the same road didn't someone blow up here don't worry the germans never mind the same spot twice isn't that lightning no lightning always sight the same place twice uh, uh, my mother you always used to say that but germans never mind the same spot twice i mean why weren't they Anyways, Panther, they're taking heavy damage from the six pounder gun. That is definitely not the best Panther ending there from Dave. Or some bad luck. Hard to say here. But it looks like he might be able to get another one. Unless, of course, a nice part due to all the info. There you go. Another hit. Almost taking out the Panther. That was definitely the thing. Dave pulling his light a bit to find. I'm going to lose it to the Cromwell. The Cromwell gets the Panther. Oh, that was just a waste of a Panther. But it also just highlights a bit. You know, the Panther isn't that good after all. A better off with just more Panzer Force or something else, but uh, down it goes, more or less taken down with a six pounder gun in his own. Panzer Force running down, almost got the section, there you go, that's a white here against Tarnation. And Tarnation remains though without a doctrine. I mean, we're 26 minutes in the game and there's just this lack of a doctrine which I do find a bit disturbing. Back here, reinforcement hitting up north, we got the section, they're fighting up the Pioneers and. Well, more pioneers getting a lot there, small victory, but Dave still remains control here with the larger force. Though, getting the Panther that is still pretty good here for uh, Tarnation. That is still pretty good. That would have been better if he hadn't lost the first Cromwell like that, or the AC like that. Panther fall down to half health. Six pounder gun, though, has very much been requisitioned here by the German army. He's even lost his Vickers. There's a lot of recruiting he's going to have to do here. Versus Dave, otherwise Tanisha is going to find himself struggling a lot. Well, more. Graham the Vickers there, crumbling about. We got the pack forward moving down. Section almost taking up with the Gunnadies and vice versa. Bit risky here, but there you go. Push away and wipes the Gunnadies. That's pretty good. But there's a high likelihood he might end up losing. Oh, it's going to go for the Panther over the Cromwell, maybe. There we go. Almost got it. But also close to losing the Cromwell here. Going for another Cromwell here versus Dave. Will he try and go for another Panther? Or will he uh, just stick to the more conservative estimates of, you know. Uh, whew, that was close. He almost lost his Cromwell. He did get Dave's Panther 4 there. That was close as hell. And now it's Time Nation. He's actually going to have an arm advantage over Dave. And uh, looks like another unit took heavy losses up north. Still, that handling of the Panther was not good. Yeah, that was nasty. Dave here going for another Panther. Four. I mean, he's got to hit a tank. Guts, he probably doesn't feel he needs a Stugan, but rather just emphasize regular Panzers. Send Cromwell almost done. Saps the harder work fixing up the Cromwell there. Cleaning out some of the dents, the damage, and of course, resupplying the tea. God lord, is this all grey? I prefer green tea. Shut up, Terrence. You get the tea or what? And this is just regular tea. We don't serve green tea, you daft idiot. <laughs> I don't suppose you could be a sport and give back that anti-tank gun, old sport. Nine. So this is Germany's anti-tank gun now. It's Panzer at the Kanone. Dummkopf. Grenadiers hiding out here between the trees. They turn leash hell. If he's actually paying attention, which he isn't. Rather ruining the ambush. He didn't anticipate that. I'm north there. Kron being reported here by an anti tank gun f supported by some infantry here. Pack 40 sending out and up north bit of scrams you need to pick up with the Panzer 4. Chrome there falling back section. Vickers need to retreat here. The MG 42 maybe not. This is Vickers. Almost got the M42 that's gonna fall back due to the pack 40 there. Doing a lot of damage to the Cromwell tank. Got an ace mort here as well for Dave, very good. Almost wiping out there, Tarnation, sir. Uh, you know, we also got mines finally down here from Tarnation, but there's still a distinct lack of doctrines. Well, it's got two tanks, which is pretty good. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Seats rushing into fast here, and yeah, I get there's been some issues with the pathing as of late, I feel personally, after the recent December balance preview. I might be wrong there, but it certainly feels like a time they just sort of take some really weird routes. Pioneer needs to sack himself to grab the machine gun, but he does get the Cromwell once more tenaciously to build up an arm advantage versus Dave. Two to two down. Out the chrome mode, sex push back here by Panzer Gun the gaining veterans. If you're there, not pursuing this six pounder gun here with the chrome mode, virtually two. But there you go, pack 40 to the rescue, saving the six pounder gun. But a nation is slow to turn this round again, and think in part just due to the whole nabbing the uh, Panther off in a rather bad spot. Taking a longer route, he suddenly realizes he might just get shot out there, so he's trying to use the smoke to make it harder for Dave to guess what he's doing. Oh, Dave's getting a bit uh, cross there, it seems. Third crumb on the way. Saxon pushing against the six pounder guns. Somebody is standing about, pushing back the six pounder gun, almost bombing it up. Good hit there. Six pounder gun shoots, penetrates, third crumb on the way there for Tarnation. That's really going to put down a bad spot. He really has to consider Stoogs now, I think. Get a pair of Stoogs out and then begin pushing back. Smoke's been off there from the crumb, very good works. Capans been moving in, they're going to try and take up position there through the smoke and then get close to the section. Pack 40 setting up, and third Chroma Rise now giving Tarnation three medium tanks versus Dave's none. Plus, he lost his uh, six pound gun there to the Brits. Though they haven't been able to reclaim it. And there you go, Stug's on the way for Dave. And losing the south foot, 14 kills. Stu halfway done. Good hit there, basically two game for the pack four and south, then being assaulted over the Cromwell. Make two points wise, it's Sun Asia just got a lead over Dave. Six pounder gun reclaimed by the Punier. Now he goes around to the point neutral, but he needs to treat the gun before they get wiped out, that that would not be very helpful for him. We got a scrum scene, we got a section dug in by the munitions. Nasty play there by Tarnation, Baker setting up here, cut section on into it. They will find the brand guns, not quite useful against that, and they don't have any grenades. So there's not much point in actually running up closer, it just makes it easier for Dave's Vickers to just tear them apart. Stuga ramming here though for Deutschland, Germany. Mortify they're threatening to force out the section of its trench. Stug moving in after the Cromwell shoots and penetrates here. Another shot misses. Another hit there down to half health. Cromwell standing at repairs. Mick is standing about here. Becca healing enforcement. Dave's heavy panther core just stands empty, unused. Except for that one panther, which in the end didn't do that much. Partly because he can't. Troops are hitting reinforcing for Tarnation. Now then, you fought for Dave. He's going heavy on the machine guns all of a sudden. Straight to the Vickers here. No ambush camouflage on that one though. Cromwell rushing in there to tank weapon there. We got the Stug though being rolled up here, of course. Stug Bay eminently able to serve in this roll. Also, why the Germans prefer the Stugs over the anti tank guns because the Stug is a lot more mobile than a bloody anti tank gun. There you go. Cromwell down to half health, Vic, which upon secured in the sense of push through here in the south. Cromwell could threaten up there on some machine guns. Punch is occupying the. Oh, Gunner is occupying the trench here. And there you go. Cromwell pushed back. Machine guns almost wiped out. Gosh, Cromwell gets away there from the stoop. And 
Fascination here, we'll soon be able to go find another Cromwell or something bigger if he just so desires. Six pound gun setting up, good hit there on the crumb, but it's gonna lose the machine gun. Pack 40 setting up, it's late. Stuke moving down as well. Heavy damping and flicking there on the British armor. And there good target weak point. Should be able to get each one of the crumbs. We've got a fourth crumb on the way there for Tenation. And got the Cromwell. Down it goes. In blazes. Still no Jaeger Command Squad. I'm still surprised at that one. At this point, you could actually do well with the fourth squad. That's just the Jaeger Command Squad because. It just starts out upgrading, of course, is harder to kill due to being five man. They should first go for another Stook. He's going to need more Stooks here. That one is not going to cut it, and there you go, Dave, very wisely. Goes for the second Stook. But the A command squad after that, I think, would be a very sensible and solid choice. I'd also recommend getting ambush camouflage and many of his machine guns as possible. There you go, assault going on there, gonna use machine guns flying away, they're nice to tank weapons nearby. We got the crumb the moving in, it's gonna have to rush up the stoog. Then it's being halted, and there you go, full wave assault there by Tenation, halting its tracks by a stoic defense here by Dave's force. The second stoog almost done, pushing south to the stoog support the Panzer Grenadiers. Stabs on into the Panzer Stoog firing, misses, but pushes back the Kromlin on those Panzer Need to fall a bit back as well. Mortify ring down, there goes Sappers dropping like very fat fly. Stoog gaining that 22. Second Stoog arriving, there go another hit, the Kromlin down to half health. Another hit, he's almost got it there. Oh, oh, can he get it? Now the Kromlin gets away here, need to cover the Stoog. Not worth risking it. So many de mines down there from Tarnation. We'd be running for David and running into it. Got his first AC kill with a mine and then running Stug into it. Don't do it, Dave. And he hits a mine there instead. Oh, dear. Then he's being rushed in, but this is a pretty bad situation. Pack 40 moving in. He needs to get as many troops in as you get the Jaeger command. Oh, no. Dave, don't do it. Crumble again to the Stug in the Pack 40. Almost got it. Crumbled down. Tarnation sank handling has suddenly hit the pits. As he suddenly makes some easy targets for even a disabled Stoog to knock out. That is not good. Air support going in. He's gone for Vanguard all of a sudden. Rockets flying there. Stoog taking heavy damage. Pack 40 up. Manu needs to get the other Stoog up there. Schnell. Pack 6 pounder gun opening up. Pack 40 getting some hits as well. The infantry rushing 40 into the machine guns. Almost got the 6 pounder gun. Stoog moving in. Other Stoog there. Still operable. Can he get it? Misses the Cromwell tank infantry just blazing for everything. Pack 40 white machine guns gone. Destroyed air support suppressing the infantry. Section almost wiped out. Rockets flying through the air and oh, missing everything. Cromwell moving in gets the Stook ace level Cromwell. Six pound gun needs to that means more infantry. Get the air command squad. Mortar being assaulted. Troops up north just doing nothing. Stoog landing off a hit there on the Cromwell. Six pounder gun as well. There we go. Target weak point. Stoog rolling ahead. Need to be careful though. Need to be careful. There we go. Section within crashing range. Forcing retreat. Southern victory points caught. There we go. My support flying in. Rockets going after the Stoog. Down to half health. This is tense. Pioneers on the way for Dave. Jaeger yeah, Command Squad, I think, would still be a very appreciated choice for him. Just some extra infantry just to push out on the field fast. Crom was there being repaired. Other Crom heading north. It's going to lose spot as they finally make a move. Point there secured. He might, of course, be setting up for another Stuka Dusty not going for the Jaeger Command Squad. He's carrying the center victory point ahead with his eight hero level pentagons. I don't know, eventually, three, I'm not sure what to call them. Stuka, they're being fixed up. Mortar being assaulted, you need to retreat. Another crom for Tarnation, that fuel cache is definitely paying itself off. And then the South Gun of the Ears, Machine Gun finding off against Section. Oh, Vickers there, could see a wipe, could see a wipe. We got the Ace Crom moving in. But he's gonna get the Vickers, he's gonna get it. Oh, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Wiped it. Section in North, that's ever got an ambush, MD 42. And there we go, catching them out in the open, except it had to reload, there we go. Gets a kill, six pounder gun moving up there, anticipating a strike here. In the south, ace, Cromwell versus the Stook here. 
Panzers are holding off the section in the centre. We got Vickers there he heading for the hills. Wherever they are, not north. Vickers on machine gun there. Despite the presence section, still gets the point neutral. Six pounder gun, not quite so to deal with the Cromwell. Oh, he's gonna have to rush up the Stug. He's gonna have to rush it up the Stug, and he's gonna need another one. Ah, uh, Stug pathing is not working out there, I think. It might, of course, be what he intended there. He needs to get everything else moving up. We got both Cromwells, or two Cromwells being rushed up. Southern Cromwell there, the ace defending the point there. Uh. Six pounder recruit, Cromwell taking hits there from the Stug. Almost a Stug, almost! Game yeah, command squad will still think it'd be a great choice for David. There you go. Panther 4 in the way. I'd definitely not go for Panther 4. He had to go for Stooks. More Stooks. Stooks until the end of time. But there you go. Ace level Stook. High rate of fire. High mobility. It is a real killer now. A true hero of Germany. Direct hit there. Infantry getting blasted. Stook landing off another hit here. Taking the crumble down to half. We've got Sappers. Panther fast off there. But there's Pierce. There's not enough in support. Almost got the crumb. Then we got Pierce flying out. The Stuke need to fall back. Need to fall back. Shot fired. There's smoke from down. Making hard for the Spectre. Spot where it is. Pierce flying out. The Stuke. Someone hit. They miss. Crumb here. Tank for the south. The ace going for the mortar. Wiping out. He's turning into total chaos for Dave. Oh dear. 18 kills there. Ace Stuke rolling back to the base. But it is looking pretty grim here for Dave. Pretty grim for Germany. Panzer X on the Panzer on these. That's how desperate he's to deal with the armor. Almost got the ace. Cromo. Ah, didn't get it. Panzer four rolling ahead. Victory point down to 169 versus 169. Need to cover the Stuke there. Oh, he's going to rush his train to the other Cromo. Penetrating hit through the front. Main gun out. The ace is out. Dave is not happy. Understandably. It is saying, yeah, exercise in endurance of the mental kind to play as the Vermont versus the Brits at the moment. So don't blame him. I do not blame him, and I hope some kind of upcoming patch will rectify some all of this. Back forward recruit. But this is pretty much GG just waiting for Dave to throw in the final towel here. And there you go, Dave surrenders. A loss for Germany, a victory for king and country, the commonwealth, a brutal fight here. Dave was close at many times, but I do feel one of his bigger mistakes was just getting the heavy panzer call. It's just not worth it. Like the Panther still is severely lacking firepower to be worth the investment, really. Alongside the whole thing there, so it's just not working out from this. Plus, there's nothing else why it's beneficial from any tier four. So it's just a huge resource drain there for him. He better off with more Panther forces Stooks in the early game. I also think he personally could have benefited a bit from the A Command Squad. Also, some more telemetry in there could have benefited him a lot. But I would say well played by day. But again, I think those strategic mistakes rather allowed to nation to really pull through there. I sort of get back into the game aggressively with a lot of Cromwells, which again, like even the Panther wouldn't be able to deal with all those Cromwells because again, the Panther just lacks firepower. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, one subscribe to your friends, share it with everyone. If you're not, send a replay and a some feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Dancing. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you all tomorrow for another signing episode. Bye.